asked a question today. I got asked, why is Nate Diaz so, so angry? I go, where does that come from? They go, oh man, you're not seeing Nate. Nate's on social media. Nate's lighting everybody up. I said, you know, I, I still can't answer the question because I don't interpret any of that as Nate Diaz being angry. That's Nate Diaz being Nate Diaz. What did he do wrong? Nate's taking, look, Nate wants to fight. Nate doesn't always want to fight. He always wants to train. He always wants to be ready. He always wants to practice. But there's certain things that, that, that get his interest. Nate has not showed an interest in a meaningful period of time about specifically being a champion. Nate has wanted to fight very specific guys. If one of them's a champion, then it looks like he's fighting for a championship. He's always going to be a main event. He's always going to have to do the heaviest lifting on the card. He's there, always going to have to go 25 minutes. So he's going to train for that. One's got nothing to do with another. Within Nate, as long as he's been doing this, he is now at a point where there's certain guys, and sometimes that's a personal grudge, which can come easy. Maybe they looked at him wrong in the back five years ago when he stored it away. Sometimes it's because he's impressed with them and wants to challenge. Largely, that's what that Masvidal fight was about. When Nate called out Masvidal, he said, man, I just saw him do a fight and he looked great. Okay, there's no heat on that, but I'm just sharing with you. You never know what it is that's going to motivate Nate, and you never know at what time it's going to do it. So when he sa somebody comes out and says, Nate's angry, I don't know about that, man. And Nate's just real and he's authentic. And when he thinks something, he comes out and tells, I wish he did more of it. And if you want to call it angry and I've got it wrong, I can live with that too. I just wish he would do more of it. I cannot remember a Nate Diaz interview that wasn't fun. I can't remember a social media message by Nate that wasn't interesting. He's one of these guys, but he doesn't need that big fame. He doesn't need his name in the lights and the marquee. He's perfectly fine at home, going to the gym, working with his community, doing what his coach asks of him, and going home. So it's one of these really interesting things, but it does appear that Nate would like to fight. I mean, I'm hearing this second and third hand. I've never heard Nate, personally, I've never heard or read where Nate has directly said, give me a rematch with Masvidal, but I'm hearing from people in the know that Nate is ready to go and Nate wants to get that Masvidal fight back. As we now know what's next for Kamara, what's next for Burns, we now do also know as a default button that the Masvidal Uzman is off the table. So what do you do? What do you do with Masvidal? Where does he go? You got a lot of great options. No question about that. But if it is true that Nate wants to do that rematch, I mean, there's a story there, guys. Look, don't forget, Nate was very bothered. He thought he was coming on in rounds four and five. Now, you can sit around and dispute whether that's revisionist history or not. You cannot dispute that Nate is sincere, and you cannot dispute that anybody would be in a better position to have an opinion of what the next 10 minutes of said contest was going to be than the guys in the contest. It looks like Masvidal is open to that idea too. I mean, where do we go? Do we put the BMF back up? Do we, do we do it on Fight Island? Do we turn to MSG? I mean, there's a lot of moving parts and there's a lot of questions there. I just think instead of worry about what's on the test, sometimes you just got to enjoy the class. If Nate Diaz is holding a session, don't call oh, Nate Diaz is angry. Well, good, then Nate Diaz is angry. Be angry or be whatever it is to be out there. I'm not alone in this, right, guys? And I don't know that Masvidal's options, I don't think you've got to put on your Columbo rain jacket to start to look at the pieces that are left on the board. There is no way Masvidal versus Diaz doesn't work, right? We can agree to that. And there is no way that Masvidal and Covington don't match up sooner or later. There's no way. There's also no way to make believe that George Masvidal, who is a champion, does not go on and qualify to fight Kamar Usman, who's a champion, but that one's now off the board. I think you could do some business with Leon. I mean, I feel like Leon should probably get that opportunity, the three-piece of the soda. I mean, could you imagine you go sell those T-shirts right now? Better have a lot of cotton in stock. You're going you're, you're gonna to be out pretty quick. But if Leon is, you know, if that doesn't change and he just simply can't get out of the country, I think you start to look at the pieces on the board. Maybe there is a reason. Maybe there is some backstory that we're not armed with. Maybe we do have reason to start looking around and go, you know, Nate's speaking up here for a reason. Nate's calculated. Nate's smart. Maybe Nate's getting ready to do something. And maybe that's Masvidal. And if it's not Nate versus Masvidal, I have to assume it's Colby. If I'm wrong and I'm missing something, there's something else we should be speculating about within reason that's a reasonable match that you think is going to be made for a BMF champ. Tell me.